Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to our lecturer and my fellow friends. We are from group 8 would like to present the topic about the composite column. Before that, our teammates are Navian as a leader, Zaidatul, Indrajit, Muskab and me, Nisma Wayuni, Binti Matani. My magic number is AF2012. Today, I will present about the history of the composite column. In architecture, the composite column is a Roman design column style. This column are the combination of the characteristic of the ancient Greek era Ionic and the Corinthian column. For example, the capital design of Ionic or the Colvolutes, which is a spiral or scroll shape form. Meanwhile, the capital design of Corinthian order called Acanthan's Falange design, which is a leaf decoration. A steel column are frequently used for in case in concrete to give the resistance against the fire and will be used as a river providing. In 1907, the first experimental of this composite column was carried out by the Imperger on the up composite column under the concentric lot. It is because the increase of composite column in nowadays, many experimental and theoretical research work also has been carried out to study the behavior of the composite column. Next, the introduction of the steel composite. In engineering, the composite column can be understood as a column of concrete reinforced by a steel core. This type of composite column is often used in construction due to the structural advantage. There are two main types of this composite column which is encased in steel section and concrete in field tube steel section. Steel and concrete in composite column will counter attack to the external load by joining to each other with the bone or between the friction among them. A concrete field section provides architect and engineer with an aesthetically pleasing, robust and inherently fire resistant column. This type of column also the most efficient of all structural steel section in resisting in compression. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Al Jama'a 2087. Concept of composite column. Composite sections are a mix of two customary primary structures, which is primary steel and underlying cement. Steel segment plant structures are not quite the same as sustainable plant techniques in various key manners. In composite sections, pull the steel cement with opposed outside stacking by color bringing together by upon the contact. Concept of column We have a concrete field tube without reinforcement, a concrete field tube with reinforcement. A, we have A doesn't have reinforcement, it has a reinforcement bars, and the B has encased steel section. Concrete encased steel section co column. In the old times, the plan of structure decision was regularly between the substantial construction and brickwork structure. A steel substantial composite section is included in a that substantial against the hot mute steel area. Composite or mixture of materials of specific interest because of its critical potential in improving the general presentation through a rather humble change in assembling and construction of advances. Concrete case column. CES column is basement construction and symptomatic diagram of a typical CES column. Advantage consistently in external components of segments of various flow, uh, not compelling, resilient to extra support in steel. And disadvantage are um, the cost of building the connectors throughout the deck and nearby and the general expenses. The expenses where the steel substantial design might be more exorbitant than any other kind of constructions. Concrete field steel tube segments have been utilized for quick safe structure segments to help stop building tanks deck of rail lines the steel casing to be raised and cylinder segments area along these lines to be loaded up with siphon concrete concrete field steel tube is uh, it contains fire reinforcement concrete core and steel tube at the bottom advantage in the interaction between steel tube and concrete the event of the nearby structure of the steel tube is postponed strength of the cement is expanded due to the limiting impact 
advantage in cross-sectional properties, the steel proportion in the CFD cross segment is a lot bigger. Steel of the CFD segment is well classified. Its advantages are they cannot be used to analyze behavior over a period of time. Finding can be flawed or skewed if there's a conflict. Thank you. Good afternoon, Doctor. My name is Indraji son of Nagendran. My metric number is CF2032. Today, I'm going to present about the alternative method of concrete field steel tube column, which is CFST. Okay, the CFST section are filled with concrete into a hollow section steel tube, and also offers a resistance to apply a load through the composite action of the steel and concrete. The CFST section steel tube acts as a longitudinal and also a transverse reinforcement. The steel tube in CFST section lies at the outer perimeter which effectively resists tension and bending moment and also increase stiffness of CFST section as the steel features as a high modulus elasticity. The inner core of, for this section also plays a crucial part in the delaying the involved buckling of steel tube and improve the behavior of this section. As we can see, the first picture is a regular CFST section. The second one is a CFT section with the reinforcement. Okay, the next one is the problem with the concrete field steel tube column. So the first problem is additional reinforcement is needed for the fire resistance. The steel yield stress and modulus of elasticity will begin to reduce and the steel also will begin to shed load into concrete. In this case, the heat from the steel will transfer to outer layers of the concrete core, causing the temperature to increase. The concrete is not a good conductor of the heat and the rate of the heat flow will truly slow. As the temperature of outer layer increases, the strength of the concrete itself begins to fall as the heat decreases the concrete. So finally, the failure of a column will occur when the combined strength of the steel and concrete reduce to the level of applied load. Okay, the next problem is complex load transferring mechanism. Bolted joints are preferred for space structure prefabricated connectors. The load transfer is rather complex due to the non-linear stiffness distribution along the perimeter of the connector braces. The reinforcement will be deformed during the loading. Okay, the next problem is limited application. For this, the CFST has more complex mechanical performance, tedious retirement and poor economic returns. The interaction between two materials process a difficult problem in determination of combined properties such as moment inertia and modulus, modulus elasticity. CFST column in building has been limited due to lack of construction experience and also lack of understanding of the design provision and complexity of corrosion detailing. Okay, the next one is alternative method of concrete and case steel column. So for CES column is used as a lateral and longitudinal reinforcement to the concrete encasement and the consequent power of the steel and concrete interacting has been used for structural function. CES column has some difficulties in the interference between structural and reinforcement bar or poor concrete pouring quality, steel fiber reinforcement, concrete and case steel and construction was proposed by removing the steel fibers. The structural steel section and reinforcement cage are both encased within the number of the concrete placement of casting will be difficult than the reinforcement concrete structure. So the first feature is a totally encased concrete field section. The second one is a partially encased concrete field section. So the next one is problem with concrete encased steel which is CAS. So the first problem is the lower fire resistance in comparison with concrete encased section. The strength of steel is reduced substance when heated at temperature commonly observed in building fires. Steel conducts and transmits heat from a burning portion of the building quite faster. The second problem is maintenance of the steel. Steel structure exposed to air and water which are susceptible to corrosion. Okay, the next problem is susceptibility to buckling. Due to high strength, weight ratio or steel comparison member are in general more slender and consequently more susceptible to buckling than the reinforced concrete compression members. So the last one is a high cost for formwork. The formwork tends to be costlier for this type of column because 
it's an additional cost for the former to use to cast this concrete and case steel compared to the concrete filled steel tube which comes with a hollow section that's all for me i like to pass to the next presenter thank you good evening uh, dr hilton uh, today i'm going to present about the solution for the problems my name is navindash anandan my matching number is cf200214 first the solution for the concrete filled steel, steel tube column is the many the best way is saving in the construction cost saving in construction cost due to because it is the fast reaction and an optimal design the construction cost may be can reduce because of the higher strength the composite column is lighter than a typical rc column which is similar strength reduce the loads on the cost of the foundation and also the amount of the reinforcement bars the steel section can be worked as form work and stiffened by the concrete columns it is it is because to be the lighter than a conventional steel columns and reduce the susceptibility the steel causes most importantly the second one which is uh, fire resistant fire resistant is the one of the best way also by replacing the reinforcing concrete columns with the transverse reinforcement the steel tube also prevents falling from the concrete and minimize the conjunction in the reinforcement in the connection region particularly for the systemic designs compared to the hollow steel tube structure fire resistant can be considerably increase the concrete filling in the designs concrete can all work as a fire protein to the steel section second solution for the concrete and steel ces the first and foremost is the best way is using the reinforcement rebar and steel cover it is because the overlap joints are conjunctured rebars with the lap joints affecting the integrity of the structure degradation of the concrete could affect the performance of the joint with the use of couples to the join the starter bar damage to the former can be avoided also the material and the cost savings as as less steel used to plus greener the lighter buildings second the very important is to clean the corroded reinforcing steel it's basically we are removing the rust and dirt from the river or the steel particularly corroded reinforced bars are left in the place must be through oddly cleaned by the sand blasting to obtain a ma bar metal and also clean for the excessive corrosion okay More, normally they will use uh, normally they will replace it with a new one or they have some method to clean it up here are the methods the two types of the method to clean the corroded steel for is first using the high pressure water jet yes by using a high speed water to remove the rust layer and the dirt second is using the wire brushing method it is also can be done as a manually by using hands or by machines if by manually it can it can be take some times but when machine will be done easier the figure down shows the a is using the sand blasting process and wire brushing process and c is a comparison between which one is the better but an of course of course is the wire brushing process third is the intumescence coatings coatings are very important these coatings are uh, act as or they will act expand as much as 100 times of the original thickness of the material so they become the first layer as as a fire resistant by creating a buffer between the fire and the steel members the coatings will undergo a chemical reaction and expand when subject to extreme weather or extreme temperatures before the temperature become hot enough to affect the integrity of the steel if you see the features here we can see the primer coating the second intermediate coating and the top coating which shows that is very safety and also the best way for the steel thank you good afternoon everyone my name is Zara Tabinti Chimi my match number is CF2044 i will continue part recommendation recommendation the prefix the prefabricated steel reinforcement PSRC composite section could show preferable execution over those of a traditional cement inkey steel or column inkey steel. 
PSRC composite segment under hard pressure the corner points what more the crossover support gives static factory side long repression to the concrete strength between the strength between steel point and cement is created by the bearing strength at the crossover support at the point when the bond strength is more net worthy the interest PSRC composite section show 20% lower disfigurement limits that of traditional concrete in case steel or uh, concrete in case steel composite segment Conclusion Nowadays Malaysia will ultimately love to provide for high rise building be able to know behavior of, the, of different kind of composite column we can decide which type of column that suitable for our building advantages and disadvantages work together last but not least in how to develop the beautiful building with with a beautiful structure we need to know all the process without this kind of knowledge we are not able to construct a house that's all from me thank you